Welcome back, IB Economics students. In this short video lecture, we're going to be uh, overviewing the next chapter, which is in the basic government interventions, which includes taxes, subsidies, price floors, and price ceilings. Okay, so um, there's a lot of government control, a lot of different forms of government control in the free market. However, in, in, in this unit, in the upcoming unit, we're just going to be looking at pro, uh, subsidies, taxes, price floors, and price ceilings as the basic forms of government intervention. Okay. So we want to look at the effects on the supply curve each of these um, government intervention has. So in terms of taxes, when taxes are levied on a specific good, the price of a good rises, right? So therefore, um, the, the entire supply curve shifts to the left, which means as the price rises due to the, uh, due to the tax, the quantity demand would also decrease, right? So this is why governments sometimes will want to tax certain goods, for example, cigarettes or alcohol, to discourage the consumption of the quantity by raising the tax, uh, raising the taxes, uh, therefore raising the price of the good. Okay, so that's taxes. Now well, we're gonna have like around two videos or maybe three videos on uh, taxes uh, later in this unit. Also subsidies. So subsidies is basically like the opposite of a tax. Okay, it would it would basically decrease the price and increase the quantity of the good that is provided. So if we graph um, the subsidies in illustration form, then it basically shows the supply curve shifting to the right hand side when a subsidy is levied. Okay? So this is another uh, form of uh, basic government intervention. And we can see taxes and subsidies in a lot of different industries. For example, in the cigarette and alcohol industry, strong taxes are levied in order to increase the price, therefore decreasing the consumption, uh, seeing as how a tax uh, cigarettes and alcohol are actually seen as a demerit good. On the other hand, many farms are agricultural uh, sectors, for example, the dairy sector, for example, the corn sector in America, in the United States of America, is heavily subsidized by the government in order to make uh, 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 American dairy farms and American uh, corn fields more appealing and more competitive in the international stage. So these are uh, taxes and subsidies, of course, one of two of the most common forms of basic government intervention in the free market. Another uh, one of the major uh, government interventions um, that is basic in that uh, the IB internet, the IB economics, both HL and SL really wants to point out is price forms and price ceilings. Okay, so price ceilings basically sets a maximum price at which something could be charged. Okay, for example, in some of uh, some some medical drugs. Some medical drugs in France or in Europe have price ceilings, right? That is to discourage and actually to make it illegal for pharmaceutical companies to be price gouging and, and, and charge um, um, exorbitant prices or really high prices for certain medicines. For example, uh, insulin shots, really important for type 2 diabetes. Uh, for, 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 for a profit maximization firm, they will want to charge the highest price that is legally, po that is legally possible. Because, uh, because they know that, if the, that there are no substitute goods and that, that type, two, type 2 diabetes patients have to use their insulin shots in order to survive. Therefore, price ceilings have to be set in order to ensure that the interests of consumers are in fact, are in fact met and that, and that the corporations do not, um, do not abuse or, or overly use their price setting abilities, seeing as how they are basically act as a monopoly or as an oligopoly. So price ceilings is another basic form of government intervention that is very, very important when it comes to a basic government interventions in the free market. So a price ceilings basically sets maximum amounts of price, maximum price that a good can be charged at. Therefore, the quantity, um, therefore the price of the good will decrease and the quantity demand would increase as a result, okay? Right, and the price floors, what are, what are price floors? Price floors are, the, uh, are basically the opposite of a price ceiling, similar to how a subsidy is basically the opposite of a tax. So price floor basically states the, um, the minimum, right? The minimum amount of price somebody has to choose a charge for a specific good. Now, what are some examples of, of, of this? What are some examples of price floors? 
for example, in, uh, in, 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 in the corn industry, right? Governments need to set minimum prices in which you can sell your corn at in order to, to ensure that the corn you sell is, is competitive on a global market and you do not ruin the entire corn industry. So therefore, price floors and price ceilings is basically another basic form of government intervention in the free market. So these four, taxes, subsidies, price floors, and price ceilings, are the four major basic government interventions you need to learn in this chapter according to the IB Economics Guide. Okay, so I hope um, this video is helpful and outline the next few lectures and outline the next few uh, videos that's going to be concerning these topics.